Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. All right. We are in Colossians, and we are spending three episodes on uh, Colossians chapter 1, verses 3 through 8. Okay? I'd encourage you to kind of listen to those um, together. You can listen to them one each day if you want to. That's fine. Uh, but if you skip, like, the second one, you'll be like, what in the world is he talking about? Okay? So these, uh, episode 2, 3, and 4 of Colossians here go they go all together okay so today we're concluding that uh, three-part uh, series here on verses three through eight we started episode two was talking about how Paul heard um, about the faith of, of the Colossian uh, church okay so th the faith was uh, and we talked about how what do people recognize uh, you by your faith in Christ Hopefully that's what it is. Okay. So, and then uh, yesterday we talked about um, the love that people recognized, the love that the Colossian people had. Uh, and so uh, Paul, you know, commended them for that too. Today I want to talk about the result of that. Okay. So as a result of the that reputation of the faith and of the love, there, something happened. And we're going to find out what that was um, and what it is uh, today also. So this is taken from Colossians chapter 1, verses 3 through 8. All right. So it says this, We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we've heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all God's people. The faith and love that spring from the hot hope stored up for you in heaven, about which you have heard, in the true message of the gospel that has come to you in the same way the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood god's grace you learned it from epaphras our dear fellow servant who is a faithful minister of christ on our behalf and who also told us of your love in the spirit okay so yeah you remember yesterday we talked about Paul heard about this. He was in prison. Okay, there wasn't, you know, the CNN uh, news network and the, or the Fox News and all that stuff for him to to hear about this. He heard about it from people, and one of these people was Epaphras, who was traveling around uh, to these churches and then kind of reporting back to Paul what he saw at these churches. And he, you know, he comes back to Paul and he says, "Hey, man, you wouldn't believe they're at the church of Colossae." You know, they had such great faith. They had such great love. And you know what's happening is this? Well, let's see. What, what's happening? It says there in uh, verse 6, In the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. Okay? So the result of this this love and this faith is that the gospel is bearing fruit, okay? You have a tree, so I have tomato uh, plants around here. I have pine pineapple plants uh, around here. Um, the pineapple plants and tomato plants really don't do any good if they're not growing uh, fruit, okay? I don't want a tomato plant that's not bearing uh, tomatoes, okay? It's just, it, to me, it's worthless. Uh, it's just a vine taking up space. Um, and the, the pineapples, you know, I want eventually a pineapple so that's why i grow pineapples i don't grow them because they look the plant looks all pretty i grow it because i want to eat some pineapples that's why i grow it so i want the fruit and so he's saying here in the same way the gospel is bearing fruit this gospel uh, because of the the faith and the love you have it's 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 bearing fruit now okay and then and it's, it says it's growing throughout the whole world okay so people are coming through Colossae and they're hearing about what what's happening with this church and seeing it they see the faith they see the love and they continue on their journeys and their lives are changed and they're going around uh, telling other people so this you know church is a church like a church should be that it, it it's strong in faith and it's strong in love and it grows, okay, it, it's fruitful, it's growing, and then it's, it's you know, going out to, to cover the whole world, okay? 
So, for example, um, the church we're a part of, you know, there's uh, uh, people that go there and then there's missionaries that have been sent out from there. They've been taught and raised there and, and they've now gone out and they're missionaries, you know, and all over parts of the world. And so even like uh, in Turkey and, and uh, in Guatemala, we'll be going there in a couple months. And uh, for missionaries that um, uh, these in Guatemala, they weren't part of our church, but now they kind of identify as as part of our church and uh, some of the, the services and stuff they watch from our church. And um, we have a lot, our church has a lot of involvement with the, with the ministry there in Guatemala. And, um, and in fact, we'll be taking a group down there uh, to help in that ministry. And so it all starts in the church, but it has to start with the faith, faith in Jesus, not just faith in something, okay? But it starts with faith in Jesus, and then it has to be based in love, okay? If you go down there and, uh, you know, travel parts of the world and you're not sharing the gospel, you're just uh, out on a, a Peace Corps mission or something like that. Uh, like, nothing eternal impact on that. Um, you're just, you know, doing Peace Corps. That's it. So, um, anyway, that that's the result of the church having faith and love is that it, it grows, it's fruitful, and then it impacts the whole world. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Colossians. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then. Thank you.